That is the X1 Carbon from Bamboo. You know that, you've seen it. It's got an AMS unit on top of it, automated material system, but it seems to have multiplied because there's four, four different AMS units attached to this X1 Carbon, fulfilling the prophecy of the Bamboo Lab machines able to print with 16 different filaments all at once. Within the numbered AMS units are various filaments which we'll talk about, and I've yet to do a print with this. So now what I've done is gone to the computer and I've sliced up this 16 color wheel that I found on printables and uh, we're gonna send it to the printer and we're gonna see if it goes. Look at that, that's it. That's it right there. And actually you get this really cool kind of texture. There's the poop. So that setup, I had to take it all down for what was next, and it's probably for the best because it approached levels of jank that I just wasn't comfortable with. See, look, total jank. I was I was holding up that AMS number three with uh, foam. You know, there were 16 different random filaments in the four different AMS units. The whole point of this exercise was to showcase 16 random filaments working so that I could then show you a filament that does not work. Printed Solid makes really good materials and they put them on these plastic spools that are about this size. And if you go to put a Printed Solid spool in the machine, it's jammed. It's just ever so slightly too wide for the configuration of the Bamboo AMS system. The solution I thought would be the Hydra Mod over on Printables by Printables user Hume Beam. It's a three-part print that replaces the internal injection molded part that holds the spools in the Bamboo Lab AMS system. They've come up with a way to put new insides inside the AMS. There's these three pieces and they all print in this orientation. I printed these in AMS and I did print them on this X1 carbon. There's little keyed elements that allow it to slide together. Yes, look at that, look at that. And the best part is it's a drop in replacement for the AMS. You print these with between five and 600 grams of material and then you utilize some tools to take this apart, put the insides in, and then it provides for larger spools, but it also gives you the chance to adjust the roller positions within it. And that does mean it makes printed solid spools work. And knowing that, of course, I got a few boxes of Jesse PLA in. Oh, it's heavy, it's heavy, but it's awesome. Just like me. It's so awesome. Within these boxes are 18 spools of Jesse PLA. 18. 18, 18 spools. spools. I put all of the random spools back on the wall. And then I began the process of installing the Hydra Mod in each of the four AMS units. And after each AMS unit had a Hydra Mod, I would then load a printed solid Jesse spool of material and load it via the four different slots just to make sure everything was working. Just like that, number three fully tested with the printed solid spool. Rejoice because there is just one left to go. With all four Bamboo Lab AMS units hydrid, it was time to open the printed solid boxes and see the surprise filaments that were sent my way. Filaments out of the box. These are all printed solid Jesse PLA. And I talked to Dave, he talked to Dustin. Dustin was like, what colors do you want? And I was like, yo bro, surprise me. And he's like, I got you. First box, let's just tear into it. Right out of the gate. Oh, look, oh, it's, it's cardboard spools. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> Roll that back. Cardboard spools, cardboard spools. Cardboard spools. The cardboard spools kind of surprised me a little bit. I wasn't expecting it. And they do have a different width profile than the printed solid plastic spools. So at the time of filming, I thought, 
no matter, we're just going to proceed as planned and we were going to stay the course because I'd already spent hours and hours adding the Hydra mod to the AMS units. And plus, this was a good time to actually see the really cool colors that Dustin over at Printed Solid sent my way. Here we go, right out of the box. We've got Limer Green PLA. Golden winner, we've got golden winner. Gunmetal Gray, Tree Green, Red Ice, Quarter White, Mystery Orange PLA, PS Red, Pure Magenta, Pure Cyan, Purple Eater, Army Green, 3DPN, Vanilla Bean Ice Cream, Design White, Bold Blue, Blue Ice, Blood Red Light Glitter, and last, but certainly not least, Jesse Premium PLA Black. So now what I'm gonna do is load up 16, there are 18 here, I'm gonna pick two that I'm not putting in the system, and then we're gonna get ourselves a 16 color printed solid Jesse PLA print from the bamboo. After setting everything back up and attempting the print, I did run into some jamming issues. And I thought perhaps it was the cardboard spools causing it. The first print, the test print is done. I have 16 different printed solid spools loaded. They're all cardboard. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. I came back to the studio a few times because of jams or the, not, the ability of these AMS units to not be able to pull the cardboard because it got a little wobbly and stuff. Uh, but still we persevered and we got something uh, I don't know if you can tell this red, this red's a little messed up. The rest of them came out okay. I mean, if you look at the bottom, bottom looks fantastic, but the red's a little messed up. I would imagine that it had a hard time pulling this red and it was able to get it to through, but then it was just tough to do. I know that these are pressed board spools and not corrugated cardboard spools like what Protopasta has. And I know Polymaker has cardboard spools that are pressed and they work in the AMS. But still, I thought maybe it was a cause. That's when I went forward with the Repcord Rotini project. This is the Repcord Rotini. And when sized right for these spools, 203 millimeters, it takes nine minutes to print on my Prusa Mark III S Plus. I actually set up my Prusa in the kitchen at home and set a timer every 10 minutes to just check a print, start a print, check a print, start a print. And because I've got 16 printed solid spools here, I needed 32 of these Rotinis. Wait a minute, wait a minute, look at that. Is that, is that a stain? Is that, is that, oh, my hoodie is stained. Oh. Luckily, I put in an order really quick over at my Threadless store for a new hoodie. Let's put it on. New hoodie installed. Now we can continue. Unfortunately, the Repcord Rotini did not solve the issue. And I ran into a hard jam with a specific AMS. This means I had to take it apart and I found chewed filament. Oh no, God! Now we're set up to troubleshoot AMS and it's AMS number four as the blue tape tells me. First steps, getting the PTFE tube out. That's easy enough. Oh, look at that, look at that. There's the filament. So we know that the jam is happening on the underside. And I've, ho, oh, ho, 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 there it is. And that's the problem that I've been having with every single AMS unit. It, it hasn't been restricted to just one AMS or one specific bay. It's multiple AMS, multiple bays. It's not a result of the Hydra. So you can see it's carved out some of the filament. Now, these AMSs are from different hardware revisions, so it's quite possible that this is an issue that's been fixed. What we're gonna do is reach out to Bamboo and let them know of our findings and find out if there is in fact a fix for this tension issue, and if so, maybe we can get it. Tomorrow. At this point, I sent a note over to Bamboo asking what was going on, and they asked for the logs from 
the machine. So I exported the logs, sent it over, and from the logs, Bamboo gleaned that the AMS unit motors were having some issues. This is good news to me because it means that the motors were having the issues and it wasn't the Hydra mods specifically. So Bamboo sent over four new AMS units. What? The previous AMS units, I took hours and hours to modify with the, the Hydra stuff. And the whole goal, the whole purpose of this experiment was to make it so printed solid spools worked in the AMS and I could get a 16 color printed solid material print done. These new AMS units, uh, they, they actually come with these, these refill, refill spools. Um, but they also fit the printed solid cardboard spools just fine. So here's the plan. Let's get this set up. Let's get all 16 cardboard spools in the brand new AMS units. And let's get a 16 color printed solid filament print done with zero intervention. Fingers crossed. There we go. All 16 loaded. It's time. It's actually time. It's time to attempt a 16 color printed solid filament model with zero intervention. Look at that. The print is done. Oh, oh, oh. here it is. 16 different printed solid Jesse PLA colors printed on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon amongst four different AMS units. Ha ha ha. I can't believe it. We did it. I know we went through some struggles and it was interesting to get to this point and we do have a conclusion, but there are a few things we learned along the way. The Hydra install is cool. It's really, really cool. And if you're looking to add in different filament manufacturers that have spools that may not fit in a typical stock AMS from Bamboo Lab, it is an option. We did find out there were some bad motors in my AMS units and Bamboo customer support came through and sent me what was needed to get the job done. Also, the Repcord Rotini. I know that Pooch printed these with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle in PTG. I went with PLA and a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So they started to, to strip and layers delaminated because it was just vase mode. I found that these were causing an issue. And so what I did was this. I went through and found certain filaments that might not have been rolling correctly. You can see that I've got the Rotini here, the Rotini here, and the Rotini here. Cardboard spools aren't as resilient as plastic spools. So if they are bumped or dropped, you can get imperfections in the roll <laughs> because because it's going, to, it's going to impact that cardboard and it's going to deform it. And that's where the Rotini helps. So I went through and found the ones that had some defects just because of being dropped or handled. And I put the Rotini on those. And that is how we got success. With 3D printing, as always, your mileage may vary. And part of the fun of all of this is the experimentation we get to do. I'm really excited to know if you've done the Hydra install and how it's worked for you. I'm curious to know of other manufacturers out there that have spools that won't fit in the typical AMS, but could fit in the Hydra modified AMS. Let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate you being along with me for this journey. <laughs> because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Hydra all the things. And as always, high five.